What's up guys and welcome to another tutorial and today I'm gonna show you how to make a people counting system based on LDRs and laser beams so what we'll be needing for this tutorial First of all, let's wire up our LDR and resistors. So, one leg of the LDR will go to the VCC rail or the 5 volts rail, just like this. And the other leg will be connected to the ground via 10K resistor. So I'm connecting this one to the ground. And we're going to do the same to the other LDR. Now I'm going to connect both of these um, power rails together. So now we're going to adjust the uh, LDR to be facing the um, laser beam. Okay, so I have now connected my laser and it's working. So I'm going to adjust the laser to be pointing at the face of the LDR. So I'm going to bend the LDR, both of them, and adjust the angle that the laser is facing both of them okay I think this is good So now we're going to do the connections to the Arduino. So here is the Arduino. So our LDR1, the first LDR, is going to be connected to analog 0 and the second one is going to be connected to analog 1. And how we're going to connect them. So let's assume that this is our LDR1. So we're going to connect it with a jumper wire just from the other leg that is connected to the resistance we're gonna connect it to a zero and we're gonna do the same to the other um, LDR we're gonna connect it from this leg here that is connected to the resistor to the analog one and then we're gonna connect our 5 volts to the 5 volts rail and our ground to the ground rail And that's it. We're done with the connection. Let's now go through the code and then upload the code and try this out.
All right, so first of all, I'll define two variables, LDR1, which is going to be analog 0, and LDR2, which is going to be analog 1. So these are the two analog pins that our LDRs are connected to. And then we have a constant integer, which is LDR underscore minimum. And this is the threshold value that if our analog value is greater than it, then there is a laser beam concentrated on our LDR. And if our analog value is less than this value, then the LDR is not facing a highly concentrated light, or in other words, there's an object standing between our laser beam and our LDR. And then we have two Boolean variables. LDR1 and LDR2 and initially both of them are low so basically what are these variables LDR1 is going to be high when an object passes by LDR1 and LDR2 is going to be high when an object passes through LDR2 and then we have an integer which is people number so assume that this is a people entry counting system so we want to count the people entering a room and then keeping th th this count to do whatever we want for example turn on lights so basically when a person passes from LDR1 to LDR2 then this person is entering the room and if a person passes from LDR2 to LDR1 then this person is exiting the room and this is our void um, setup function. So in the setup function, we're just initializing the serial communication as our people count will be displayed in the serial monitor. Now let's move on to our loop function. So first of all, we're going to check if the analog value of LDR1 is less than the LDR minimum so this means that a person is standing at LDR1 and at the same time LDR2 is greater than the LDR minimum so there is nothing at LDR2 basically the laser is concentrated on LDR2 and both LDR1 and LDR2 are low so this is the initial state then if this is the case, then we're going to set LDR1 to high, which means that a person has just passed by LDR1. We're going to now check if this person has also passed through LDR2, which means that this person entered the room. So if LDR1 is greater than the LDR minimum, so that the laser beam is concentrated on LDR1, and at the same time, LDR2 is, great, is less than the LDR minimum, which means that a person is standing in front of LDR2, if this is the case, and our LDR1 is high and LDR2 is low, then this is the case that a person has already passed through LDR1 and is currently standing in front of LDR2. Then what we're going to want to do is just wait until this person passes LDR2 and this is what this while loop does and after this we know that this person has successfully entered the room then what we're going to want to do is increment the number of people inside the room and then print on our serial monitor the current number of people or count of people and then set LDR1 and LDR2 back to low. So this code was basically the code for entering the room. The code for exiting the room would be pretty much the same except that first of all we're gonna check if the LDR1 is greater than the LDR minimum so that the laser beam is concentrated on LDR1 and LDR2 would be less than LDR minimum so that there is an object between LDR2 and the laser beam 
and our initial state which is LDR1 is low and LDR2 is low so if this is the case then there is a person that has just passed by LDR2 so we're gonna set LDR2 to high and we're gonna check if the LDR1 is less than the LDR minimum so that there's a person standing in front of LDR1 and LDR2 is gonna be greater than the LDR minimum so there is a laser beam just concentrated on LDR2 so if this is the case and LDR1 is going to be low and LDR2 will be high. So if this is the case, then there, there's currently a person that had passed by LDR2 and is standing in front of LDR1. So what we're going to want to do is wait until this person passes LDR1 so he's now officially exited the room. So what we'll be doing is that we are going to decrement the number of people but we can just decrement the number of people directly as we might have negative values so first of all we're gonna check if the people number is greater than zero then what we'll be doing is that we'll assign to people number the people number minus one and if this is not true if the people number is not greater than zeros and what we're gonna do is just assign zero to the people number and then as we've done previously we're gonna print the people count on the serial monitor and just set LDR1 and LDR2 to low so I have this sketchbook installed already on my Arduino so let's give it a try so I now have my Arduino connected to my laptop and the sketchbook that I've shown you is installed in it so let's give this a try I'm gonna pass from LDR1 to LDR2 so I'm entering the room in this way and as you can see here the people count is incremented let's enter again and the count is increasing Let's now try to exit the room. So I'm moving from LDR2 to LDR1 in this way. And as you can see, it's decrementing. So that's it, guys, for this tutorial. And thanks a lot for watching.